wonder if the gods are watching me. <laughs> Who there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same, and a fair bit miffed he is, too, finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Mm, endure an hour's worth of exposition to my presence, and you may well come to consider a different sort of honorific with which to chronicle the occasion. But, uh, until then, your sentiment is well received. Yes, 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 be that as it may, you said you came all this way on my behalf, did you not? For what purpose? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Alminster. Please. Has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get, get out with it. Alas, such luxuries require the beneficence of time. And time, as I'm sure our friend here will attest, is the very luxury of which we're all too bereft. Oh, for then ye of have... Uh, this way then? Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Ah, oh, nigh on 13 centuries old, he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. They go on best supplies.